Hello Aquarius and welcome to Blunt Sagittaria. My name is Robin and Aquarius today we're going to do your February 2024 love reading. Let's talk about you shall we Aqua? Let's see what you can expect in this month. Let's see what's coming through in the Department of Love. What do we have here? Ooh, chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. We have trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Just gotta have faith, the faith, the faith. Ah. Let's see what's going on here. Aqua and Aquarius, happy birthday. I hope all the Aquarius sons are having a fantastic birthday out there. What I do here at Blunt Saji Aquarius is for the time frame of your birthday. I give away some free birthday readings. So if you want to enter this contest, just like, comment your birthday below, get yourself subscribed, get yourself entered. I do reply to the winners, so you do need to have your notifications turned on so that you know if you won. I usually pick a few people throughout the month. So if you want to enter, you know what to do. And of course, happy birthday, Aquarius. I hope you have a great birthday. We have the Hermit. We have the High Priestess in reverse. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, Nine of Wands, excuse me. We have Death. We have the Four of Swords. We have a lot of silence and withdrawal energy here. Let's see what's going on. And we have the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, we definitely have some choices. There's the Five of Cups, afraid to make the wrong choice. There's a Three of Cups. So you're just dating. I do feel we've tapped into a single Aquarius collective. You're just dating, getting yourself out there. Maybe you could just be spending some time with family and friends, just making some good memories. And then we have the Hermit and the High Priestess in reverse. So let's see what that means. What's the Hermit energy here to start this off for Aquarius? So to us right now. Chariot in reverse. And the devil. Wow. You definitely withdrew here from an unhealthy relationship. Could have been with a Cancer or a Capricorn. Uh, but your past relationship, I'm going to say, was quite toxic here. It was a no-go. So the hermit is withdrawal. You might have stayed single for a little bit of time. Or you could have just withdrawn from a connection uh, not too long ago. It's going to be different for each of you. But your last relationship, Aquarius, was unhealthy. It was toxic. It was a no-go. It was just a, It could have been a very abrupt or very difficult ending. But the chariot in reverse, you know that is not where the universe wanted you. And that's not where you, not, or that's not where you want it to be uh, at all. And I do know uh, we've, we've tapped into a single collective. But why is the high priestess in reverse? You don't understand how... Oh, how you could have been so wrong about somebody. So, wow, okay. There's the world. Yeah, there's the ending. It's like this energy of just trying to figure out how you could, how you, you feel like you didn't, you're, you feel like your intuition was blocked. You're trying to figure out how could I have been so wrong? How could I have not seen, you know, these qualities or this trait or that this person was this way? So it's just kind of an energy of, of withdrawal, of trying to gain trust in your intuition here. Um, like I said, you're just trying to, you're, you don't understand how you missed it, but you did. Um, there's the ending. And there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of physical attraction, I feel. There's justice. You just want to make the right choice, the best choice. You just want balance. You just want you, what you deserve. So I feel you might have been, you were in a very unhealthy relationship. And um, you know you're healing. And you're just letting yourself heal and progress forward from that energy. Now here's the wheel of fortune. Destiny, divine timing. What do we need to know about that wheel of fortune here for Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to know about this? Talk to this Ace of Cups. There's your fresh start. There's a love burst. Destiny. King of Wands. Could be a fire sign. Aries Leo Sag. Uh, you definitely have some strong chemistry, uh, magnetic attraction with the King of Wands. The King of Wands and the Queen of Wands, right, Aqua, are the sexiest queens and kings in the deck. They're very attractive. So if it's not a fire sign, it's just someone that you see and you're just like, wow, they're eye candy. I like the way this motherfucker looks. Um, and I want to know them. There's a fresh start, a new beginning here. You feel lucky, you feel blessed. It's like an energy of like pinch me in my dreaming because you came from something so unhealthy to something that has a lot of potential. You want to invest in this. There's a seven of coins, a lot of yearning, a lot of burning, um, a lot of chemistry. Can you feel the heat? Boom, 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 boom. Um, so there's some heat between you and this person. And then we have the nine of wands, which I can still see this heat, but it's like... It's, this is the past coming. It's like you're trying to get to know this person. It's like you're creeping into their inner world. Um, you're guarding your wounds in here with the nine of wands and you're wondering, you're just trying to get to know this person. Are they who they are? Are they Oz where I think they're this, but they're really this? Are they what they present to be? Is there fakeness here? So I feel like with the nine of wands and the death, it's an energy of your walls are up and you want to know about this person. Cause like you want to know their secrets, their demons, their shadow side, right? You want to know all about them. Um, before you really invest your heart here, uh, what is what I see, Aquarius, there's the four swords. You're kind of biting your tongue. You're not necessarily letting this person into your inner world or in your world until you understand theirs and know if they want you to come in. 
uh, which tells me you're kind of in control. You're, you know, the ball's in your court in this, in this connection. Two of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. You're afraid to encounter the same type of person you did in the past. Some people can be very smooth um, and they can be very good at hiding their shadow self or their, you know, the, the unpleasant sides of them, right? People are always on their best behavior when you first meet them. Um, so you're definitely worried. Look at her. She's worried. Is, is the same thing going to happen? Is it going to progress back? Am I healed? Am I ready? So I feel a little bit of pullback and withdrawal from you, Aquarius. You're, you're, you're wanting to get to know this person. You're definitely got your guards up. But this person really pulls you in, you know, you're, you're completely drawn and pulled into this person. Um, and you have a choice to make. You're worried here. So let's just find out what their intentions are. What are their intentions? This person that Aquarius is meeting here, what are their intentions? Can you tell us anything about that? Page of Cups. The Sun in reverse. The Ace of Swords. Oh, they have a little bit of self-confidence issues. Emperor. They, okay, the truth is they want to step up to the plate here. This is husband-wife material, um, but they don't know if they can make you happy. There's a, they, oh, 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 they're also worried about other options being left out in the dark. You guys both, you're both feeling the same way. Uh, so we have two very guarded people here who were hurt in the past here, um, and you're both feeling the same way, Aquarius. So they're feeling like they, they don't want to get hurt again. They're doubting themselves a little bit here. They know that they're the emperor. They know they want to step up to the plate. Empress, if it's a feminine and you're the masculine, they are worried about other people offering you and, you know, their love, their couple love, and um, you walking away from them and hurting them. So, Aquarius, we have two people who have been hurt in the past, trying to come together, being pulled to each other, not being able to resist each other, but both being very worried about being hurt in the past and, and worried that the other person's going to hurt them. So, that's where we are. Let's grab some oracles. Let's see what they want to say here, and we'll get back to the tarot. We'll find out where you guys are in March and how things progress here. When it comes to this connection, what does Aquarius need to surrender to? The magic of who you are. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember, you are a magical being and a uniqueness, and, excuse me, with the uniqueness and worth that comes from just being you. I need some water. <laughs> okay, sorry about that, Aquarius. Let's get your Karen connection. It's a Karen connection between Aqua and this new person. Recognition. The divine will help to recognize signs and miracles. Okay. I don't want to get the hidden truth because I do feel that this is something new. So let's just get right down to it, Aqua. Let's get your potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, there's always free will. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And when I say outcome, let's see how you're doing in March. Let's see how things are progressing. Let's see how things are going. Let's see if they're still here. Let's talk about it. Let's see what's going on. Let's get down to business. We have the nine of wands in reverse. We have the two of wands. We have the five of wands. Hmm. A lot of wands here. <laughs> uh, two more cards. Justice. And the, <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles. And then there's the Moon and the Six of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. Well, 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 Aquarius. You're getting exactly what you deserve. Um, the drops guard, the guard, the drops guard, the guard has been dropped. The walls are gone. Uh, they're upside down here at this five of wands. So um, I feel like this is vulnerability. This is honesty. There may have been a disagreement between the two of you. Um, but what I actually feel like is it's vulnerability, talking about options, talking about the past, talking about the conflict that each of you have had within your life. Um, and just being vulnerable. You might even bond over the fact that you had similar exes or went through similar things in your life and to help create that bond between the two of you. I also feel like there's really is no options or opportunities. They were worried about other people and so were you. But with this two of wands here, you both are planning a future. You see a future together. Um, you see compatibility. You see uh, the same ideologies is what I'm hearing as well. So you guys have the same morals, the same opinions, the same belief system. Um, and you've been through the same things in the past. So you've met someone who's quite uh, you know, a mirror of you, kind of a reflection of you. Justice with the Ten of Pentacles. This could be marriage for some of you. Uh, this is definitely leading to marriage. This is long-term, 10 plus years. This is getting what you deserve. This is also being very honest and vulnerable and raw and just being open and just saying what you need to say, letting them say what they need to say and realizing, well, damn, we say the same things, baby. We're on the same page. We're thinking the same way. And this is leading towards marriage and, or if you don't believe in marriage, that's cool. This is just 10 plus years, long-term commitment, long-term potential. There's a lot of potential with this person. Um, there's the moon. So there's still some fears. Um, and with the six of pentacles and the three of pentacles, you're working on that. It could be trust. Maybe you guys got to work on trust. It could be just working on, you know, letting go of the trauma from the past, but whatever it is, there are still some worries here. 
but you're choosing the middle ground. You're choosing to give to this. You're working on this. You guys work well together. You complement each other. So Aquarius, you're moving forward towards who I'm going to say is someone that you uh, could be marrying here. Um, and you guys are kind of letting go of the conflict from the past and really letting each other into your worlds. So Aquarius, yes, that's what I got. That's what's going on. That's what's taking place in the month of February and March. So haha, if you like your reading, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. It does help my channel to grow. Thank you, Aquarius. I always appreciate your support. Let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. Yes or no? What's the answer for Aquarius? Talk to us right now. Yes or no? The answer is yes. That's what I got. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.